Hi everyone. I am so, so excited. I think I say that every video. Um, today is Friday, July 21st, and so much is going on right now. It's crazy. But today we are launching a new set of Art Foamies. Um, I have a new collection with with our foamies for their pop-up. It's for two weeks this time. Last time we did for one week and it just didn't seem like enough time. So this time we're gonna do it for two weeks so everybody can get some. And that's it, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, and so there's a lot of special things about this collection. So a while back I had a YouTube video where I was paging through my old journals and there was a collection of faces that I had been working on with more elongated faces. And after the video was done, I thought, you know what, I really want to revisit these. And that's where this collection kind of came into fruition. So um, I'm not sure how we're going to pair everything up or the names. I usually let Kay, the owner, kind of do the names. But I think this is how we're pairing them up. So we have three different sets of people. Um, the first set has two women with curls, so that's how I was pairing them together. And this one is kind of a queen, and she has lines on her garment for writing, which if you know me, you know I love that. Um, this one has some doodles, super, super fun. And then this set has two women with hats. Um, one has kind of like a crown of flowers as a hat. This one has like a pointy box hat. She, as I look at her, she kind of reminds me of the princess in a tale of, tale of Despero, I think. Um, princess P. I don't think she had this hat or anything, but anyway, that's who I'm calling her. She just reminds me of her. And then the other set is a little mushroom person. I have a thing for mushrooms, if you haven't noticed, um, and, and mushroom people. This is like a big theme in the books that I read with my kids and my childhood and fairies, I could go on. So I couldn't not do a mushroom person. So now I've got this girl and I'm so excited. So she'll come with a little accompanying, accompanying mushroom, super cute. And then the patterns last time were so popular. I knew I wanted to do another set. This set is five pieces. The other set was four. And these are a little bigger and they're more clusters. Like I've got a cluster here of circles, a cluster of pods. This kind of reminds me of like a corn cob shape. This one has um, like triangles. And this one has like, I think they, like a worm hole doodle or something like that. So just really, really fun patterns. And then last but not least, a while back I had done a video about my son's custom art foamies. So they have a, I'll put the link in the description. If I forget, just let me know. Um, uh, they have an Etsy site where you can get custom art foamies. And my son this year was coming, he must have had an amazing art teacher, and he was coming home with these really cute projects that she had him work on with different animals. And he was so enamored with the projects that he would come home and make all of us, like the whole family, do the project um, at some point or another over the weekend. So. I had his art foamies made. I had four done and he and I did a little video. If you scroll back, you'll see it. And then another week he came home with this snowy owl and I had to do that too. So anyway, I was not prepared for the DMs and the kind requests for whether or not these were gonna be available for sale. And Kay told me people were asking her as well. So we decided to put his owl and fox, the two most popular <laughs> requests, together as a little set. The owl is a little bigger than the fox. And we're going to call it Connor's Friends. And this is going to be so exciting for him. He doesn't know we're selling it or anything. So when these go live today, I'm going to show him. 
and he is going to like his self-esteem is going to go through the roof because he will have his own artwork for sale and then when it's all said and done i'm going to cut him a big check for that and then you know he can put it towards his college fund and maybe get a couple legos or something but um so anyway connor's friends these are my seven-year-old's designs because everybody was asking so we thought why not let's put it in the collection so I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm going to show you my samples. It's been a little crazy this summer. I don't have as many as I would like because for the first time in nine years, not only did I go away, but I went away twice, like a week apart and across the country. And I did all kinds of stuff with my children and no partner, um, just a teen helper. Uh, and it went really well, but it's just been crazy. So <laughs> I didn't get to as many samples as I would like, but, um, here are the samples for the faces and the people. Um, they came out so well. I'm so obsessed with them. I can't even decide which one is my favorite, to be honest. Um, but the nice thing about our foamies is that, when you stamp them, you can keep it kind of simple and plain, but there's always room to add more. So she doesn't really have eyelids, but you can add eyelids and kind of add your own marks and flesh them out more, which a lot of people do. Um, and they come out so fun. So I, I really can't decide which one is my favorite. And of course, all their garments are with the stamps um, from the patterns. So super super cool to play around with these you know and add things to their hair and just doodle on them it, it's just so fun so um another thing that i do right away when i get the patterns is i immediately go to my scrap collage paper drawer and i just start stamping patterns and making my own handmade collage paper and it's really fun to just do the bold black against the colors um, but also doing more monochromatic spreads too like this is with some distressed colors like i mean it just comes out so pretty and you can see i've already been hitting the collage paper like using it on things so you can get kind of subtle patterns or really bold patterns it's up to you but i just love how they all turned out um it's it's just so fun to design patterns so i'm very passionate about that so um here are some more of the samples um right now the fodder challenge is happening so this is like a little bottle color cover that you could use for your brushes or your art supplies or even apparently my Grolsteiner water which I drink excessively throughout the day um <laughs> I wanted to do a sample with my son's fox and owl so I did that here and even as a grown-up like I still enjoy these images and it's funny I just taught a class over in Portland uh actually Salem Oregon at the Runaway Art and Craft Studio and I brought my art foamies and I let people use them so they got a peek at the new designs and my sons were in there and they were using my sons in their artwork so it's just really exciting to see that it was just so fun um seeing what else is in here I think most of this is the older this is like an older journal so anyway so those are the samples of my seven-year-old's art here are some samples here of the patterns here is a sample of the mushroom girl and her little companion mushroom more of the princessy one and the flower one it's fun to take the stamp and just kind of play with the themes so like i'll add the theme somewhere else in the picture um, so I was doing that. I love the queen. She's super fun. She goes really well with my summer days set because there's like castles in there. Um, and this is the first page I did for the video with my son where we used his art foamies. This was a bunny that I turned into the sun. So I'm just seeing if I have any more in here. I don't think so. The old ones. Um, no. 
Okay, and then I have a couple of my big journals, which I haven't been working in lately, but I gotta get back into it. So I put one of the paper dolls in here. I'm just checking here. Ooh, that's stuck. Yeah, I really haven't worked in these big journals as much as I would like to. And then I have another paper doll here. And I think that's it. So those are the samples. I'm gonna be doing lots of reels and more demos over the next two weeks. So you'll see samples um, with the stamps. Um, I hope you love them. They are such a passion project. I've always wanted to have stamps as well as my stencils, just because they do different things. And so it's so fun to, um, to have them available. Uh, and I hope you love them. I mean, they're just so fun and I've been playing with them so much. So, um, and I can't wait to see my son's reaction when he sees his own stamps are on the site too. So, so I'll be back to share more with you because more is coming, you guys. There's a class coming, um, Fodder School 3 is coming. There's so much com going on. So I can't wait to keep sharing with you and I will see you again really soon.